Oopie dookie 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 you. Dumb like a moose. I'm scratching my brain. I will rule all of you. I like pie. Hi, I'm Richard Horvitz and I'm an actor. So I played Billy from the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Day! And I was Sim on Invader Sim. And I was Daggett on the Angry Beavers. <laughs> Spooty Beaver. Spoot. Muscular Beaver Whoosh! As I still am Chaos in Skylanders. And I'm Raz in Psychonauts. And I'm Orthopox in uh, Destroy All Humans. And a lot of voices in one of my favorite games, um, uh, Ratchet and Clank. I was the Sony and Pollux and a lot of other characters in that game. And I was Dr. Chipotle in El Tigre and Dr. Chipotle Sr. in El Tigre. There's usually a catch phrase for each one. It's the catch that hooks me in. For Billy, it was always, Yay! <laughs> the other one was, I like pie! Yeah, 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 yeah! That was Billy to me because it was a cross between um, a really hyperactive 10-year-old boy and a, a, like a dog, like I said. It was like, yeah, 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 what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? Because if you look at it, puppies and little kids are very much alike. Their attention span is like, what's that? And when I was Billy's dad, it was always, Billy? And that's hooked me in. When it was him, it was always, eh, eh. I've really practiced at my want being different for each character at the same time. If I'm Billy's dad, I'm, I know that my want is trying to explain something to Billy, even though I'm 99% of the time wrong because that's who Billy's dad is. He's just Billy grown up. Even a complete and total nincompoop can do it. Like you? Yeah, like you. For me, I start with the story and then the voice, a lot of the time just comes out based on the picture of the character. Uh, other times, you know, we do voices all the time and we're not even aware that we're doing voices. For example, if you're going to talk to a little baby, you, you look at the baby and you say, aren't you a cute little baby? Aren't you a cute little baby? Did you, did you? you don't go, hmm, what voice should I use that lets this baby know that I think it's cute, uh, but I don't want to scare it and I don't want to be over the top. You know, you're a baby came in. So I have a saying that I was was taught to me by my mentor, this woman named Diana Castle, um, which is the voice is the work of the spirit. If you're gonna play Superman, uh, you don't go freeze Lex, Lex Luthor. You go freeze Lex Luthor. The voice just kind of comes out. Don't act the breakdown. Make your situation real, not your words. 99.9% .9 of the people who really don't do a lot of this kind of work will try to act the breakdown. So they'll get, they'll try to be everything that's in that breakdown. So you get a take that's all, it's like, what? Huh? It's just really over the top yelling. What I always say to my students is, have you been angry in your life? Have you been sad in your life? Have you been funny in your life? Have you been loving? Have you been generous? Have you been giving? Have you been uh, mean? Have you been vengeful? Have you been spiteful? To which the answer is ultimately yes, because they're a human being. But then I followed up with, are you showing all of those things to me right now? And you'll say no. I said, so then if they only give you this much of a, they give you a paragraph, then why try to put in all the things that are in the breakdown? Just deal with what's going on in the story right at that moment. I'm Richard Horvitz, and please be sure to subscribe to Verite VoiceOver on YouTube! Pathetic human! Chicken neck, you should wear a sweater! <laughs> Daggett, is that you? Mom? The best thing about that is how much you get to laugh.